be talking about Appalachia and the customs here and all the people. Of course, everybody here carries a pocket knife. Most people that you find in Appalachia, Bet the it. county scoring record. We've had a couple people ask us to touch on that. His name is Aiden Barnett. Me and his daddy grew up together like brothers. Lord have mercy. Somebody's a stinking amongst us, boys. <laughs> You know, and, and, and it, they'd be the all of the one sweaty, stinky feller, you know. And you'd say, Lord, he's a st- Lord, have mercy, he's a stinking amongst us. We'll have kilt lettuce. Wow, that's hot, ain't it? Yeah. Well, I say that's the smoking hot. Whoa, whoa. Well, what's what's a fry in the lettuce? Yeah. I say the fifth person. Kilt it. Kathy Arnett Hunley. Whoa. I say fifth person. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Appalachia Connection Podcast. I'm your producer and co-host, Big John Howard, and I got our main host, Don Wolf Montgomery and Big Tony Allen. How's Don it going? Wolf to my left, Big Tony Allen to my right. Hope you guys are having a good night. I know we are. We're pumped. We're live here on Facebook on the Famous Farmhouse Diner page, if you guys want to check it out there. But we're also on YouTube, on TikTok. We're on everything about right now, so maybe even more stuff here in the future, but we won't talk about that oh, yet. Big. <laughs> big. Big news. <laughs> Guys, we want to give a shout out to our man, Big John, with techholler.com. Uh, and a very bit of this would be possible without him. He makes it every bit possible. He comes down here, sets his stuff up. Absolutely. Uh, t- does all the editing, takes care of everything technical. Uh, if you need any kind of any, anything to do with that kind of work, look him up, uh, techholler.com, or message him on his personal page, Big John Howard. He's yeah. a super good fella, and he'll help you any way he can. Any way I can. Absolutely. Don, what do you got first to start off the night oh, with? Oh, I don't know. Always good shout out to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You know, I thank him for everything Amen. he does for me. Amen. And we got some stuff we're going on. We're going to have some. Well, you can tell them what all we're going to do, but uh, <laughs> it's going to be some we're good gonna eating, try I think. Good eating, you know. We're just going to try to get around to a few things and try to, you know, have a, you know, guys enjoy me for a couple hours or whatever. We got nothing bad to eat tonight, I don't think. We got, uh, no. as the folks around here say, kilt lettuce and kilt. onions. K-I-L-T. Kilt. Uh, we got a fresh pone of cornbread, and we're going to have some fried taters with it. And kilt lettuce and onions is a staple of Appalachian cuisine. So yeah. we're going to have some tonight. It's, you know, we... Uh, and and my wife uh, can sure do it. She knows how to make it. So it'll be, it'll be awesome. Now, I always ate that with my fingers. So I don't know. Uh, no, Tony, you can't eat with your Tony says not <laughs> to do that, but don't I don't eat it with know how fingers. to eat it with a fork. Guys, we started this podcast so Whoa. people wouldn't make fun We're of us. No We're trying to change the stereotype of Appalachian hillbilly. Yeah. Talk, <laughs> or, make it, or make it or worse. Make it worse. <laughs> or make it worse. One. I don't know. I can't change the way I am. What, what we've got here, honestly, is we've got kind of a uh we, we brought together uh a part of every culture you know you yeah. got of course don is older he he's done the living through the 70s and all that good stuff i'm younger but still keep towards the traditional ways of doing things around here john grew up under me and he he does all the technical work and he's got a skill that is vital to this day and time that me and don don't have mm-hmm. and me and don have skills that john don't that's, have. that's true and instead of <laughs> Fussing and quarreling, or trying to make each other look foolish, we try to help each other. We absolutely, from yeah, each other. That's and that's a that's a thing that's always been part of this mountain culture is to help people. I mean, you can be mad in politics or religion or get mad at each other, but you let something like that tornado come along, you can see how people got together and put their uh, differences aside, and you know we're all one, and that's it's always been that way in the hills, you know. 
Speaking of weather, you brought up the tornado. Of course, down here in the hills, we, we fight the flood. We all the time that are it, fighting it, the flood. It flooded this week. And we got some water up this mm-hmm. week. Makes me think about what happened over to our neighbors over in Breathitt County last summer. Or, yeah. Oh, it was a terrible thing. We, we, we took a tour up there, and, and we went with the employees. And uh, I think you guys even fed a bunch of people well, that, for, that, long, for we, a few days. We went days. over and looked at 542, and it was just man almighty. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was just unbelievable, the devastation. But... This this area these, this area is prone to flooding. We've had floods forever, and we're still going to have them. You know. Yeah. It's yeah. prone to flooding here. But yeah, guys, if you don't mind sharing out right now, that helps us a ton. Hit that like button if you're watching. Share it, and be sure to follow us on www.appalachiaconnection.com. If you're having trouble finding us, everything will be there. The group will be there. How to get to the live stream? Everything right there in one page. Love you, Marley. And we got all kinds of giveaways tonight, too. Tom, what do you think about that? We got some giveaways going on. We've got our friends over at Hometown Tax and Bookkeeping are going to donate a free tax prep. Oh, that's nice. Wonderful ladies over there. Of course, it's this time of year, like it or mm-hmm. not. It's tax time. You know, God has. <laughs> but uh, they're going to donate a free tax preparation. Then uh, my cousin, of course, down at the Peddler's Mall, Jackie Prater with Kentucky Florals, we're going to give away 12 chocolate-covered strawberries. And listen, oh, oh, oh. Well, I'd like listen to have those. if you've not been down to the Peddler's Mall, you've not been to Kentucky Floors, that Peddler's Mall has got a little bit of everything. It I does. Mean, it, I, I'm you surprised. You can anything in there. You I was find, surprised what was in it. It ain't got a lot, of, a lot of stuff that I really like, but it has one card store in there, and I really like the card store. The water around here, Rachel, I saw your comment there, honey, it's been listen all my life. We've been a struggling yeah. with the water. You know, I remember. Is, I guess it's the runoff from the mountains, Don. I, I, would, would you say? Yeah, right. It's so many mountains and hollows, you know. It's got to go somewhere, and we don't have a whole lot of flatland here, you know. And I'll take the time to go ahead and shout out and thank our friends over at Tracked Outdoors, Creekside Stitching and Feed, of course, TechCollar.com, my man Big John, the greatest. Uh, Granny May's Cheesecake is my Aunt Tootie, and speaking on that, she come in here the other night with a, with a, 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 a baggie full of gingerbread, and I'm going to tell you, some of the best <laughs> gingerbread I've ever eaten in my now, life. If I saw you like it, but- gingerbread. You ho- holler at Granny Made Cheesecake. I promise yeah. you, you'll not get no better. And then, of course, you know, we're down at the Farmhouse Diner, and we're, we're down here every day, all day. Yeah, so. yeah. Six days a week right now, right? Yeah. Six, uh, days, six a week. days a week. Six uh, days a week. Tuesday through Saturday, uh, we're, we're here biggest part of the time. If you're hungry, come see us. We'll feed you. If you ain't hungry, come see us. We'll visit with you. Like I said, it uh, ain't fast food. It's family food. <laughs> <laughs> now, I just saw a boy get a piece yeah. of Granny Made Cheesecake a minute ago, and he was just... Oh, like yeah. digging well, into it's, it. It's just like it just takes you to another dimension. <laughs> he was just digging into out, it. It's an out of this worldly experience. It's <laughs> exactly. an out of this worldly experience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh. Well, we've got a pretty good show for you. Now we got all kinds of topics. If there's any topics you would like us to talk about, be sure to leave a comment there and we'll look at them. We'll get to them when we can. You can also put it in the group for another later, Dave. You know, we can prepare for them. There you go. But, uh, you know, What's your first topic that you guys want to talk about? Well, we got our Appalachian words of the day. And one the of them Appalachian is, word. One of them of we've the, talked on is amongst. 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 Yeah. Now, if amongst. I used it in a sentence, Lord have mercy, somebody's a stinking amongst us, boys. <laughs> you know, and, and in it, they'd be the always the one sweaty, stinky feller, you know, and you'd say, Lord, he's a stinking, Lord have mercy, he's a stinking amongst us, boys. Get him uh, out amongst us. Yeah, <laughs> well, get, him, get him away from well, us. Get him Jerry, out amongst us. Jerry Clower, you know, he, he did a thing about shoot up here amongst us yeah jerry clare the old story i guess was you know they had a coon tree but they thought they had a coon tree but they'd coon treat a wild cat and one of the uh cousins are the Ledbetter boys decided he's gonna climb up and shake that wild cat out like you do a coon i guess he got up there and got into it with that wild cat and they the heart oh. knock him out john yeah he said lord god shoot in amongst us some of us gotta have some relief <laughs> Amongst. Amongst. I guess well, that's, that's that's one of the hillbilly words of uh, the day. That's amongst. not one I use very often anymore. I guess that anymore. means uh, among. Uh, amongst us. Among us. Among you know? us. Amongst. Uh, yeah. Another one. John, you may not know. Jobbed. What was that again? Jobbed. 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 Did you ever you get jobbed? Well, I've not heard that. J- I've jabbed. <laughs> Well, okay. Yeah, okay. The hillbilly word is job. So you're job. running through the woods after a rabbit or trying I, to shoot it. I got job by a bra. And you get jobbed in the eye by a bra. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's a hillbilly word. Don, you got any more? Oh, uh, let's see. I heard one, I think is original. I, original. I was talking to a person the other night, and, well, it ain't a word, it's kind of a phrase. Uh, and they said, uh, let's see, I, I'm going to get it right. It's, uh, 
Well, hang on. I'll get it. Go ahead and do something because I <laughs> forgot it. <laughs> Folks, listen. Don's old. He's yeah, really good. <laughs> There's so much up here that it gets crowded. You and know. he's done some living. He's tucked uh, yeah, and old, come uh, home. You know? Colder than, uh, let's see, what was it? It's uh, dog freezing cold. Dog, I've never dog heard that. freezing oh. cold. There you go. It's dog freezing cold out. Dog freezing. Dog, cold. We've already done corn. I've heard of dog face ugly. Dog face. Yeah. Dog face ugly. I've heard I think of I've that been too. called that. Dog face ugly. <laughs> well, that's, that's our that's our word for the day. Like I said, always you're more than welcome to comment. We try to keep up with the comments. Uh, it's it's a hard it's hard to do. But I ain't got my glasses. I can't see. Well, I can't but, see with mine. Uh, my eyes water. We try to keep up with the comments and, and everything. We keep this podcast we're talking about local traditions uh family things foods we don't do any politics we don't do God. any uh religion we ain't uh. trying to now, now we all born again christians and god believers but we don't try to cause any animosity or any friction we want to keep it fun and friendly and we appreciate yeah. all you all turn uh, tuning in and Dougie, and, we did corn, corny last week, and ugly as a mud fence. Ugly yeah, as a mud good. fence. We did gum. We've talked on a gum. You We've know. talked on gum. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think I still you say know gum. What a gum is. Yeah, yeah, I still talk gum. about gum. Up and yeah. yonder, over yonder, over yonder. Stands yeah. little Maggie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I really well, like this say, topic. I'm sorry. We, uh, we say Yanner. Um, for a metal fork, we said Yanner. Yeah, over Yanner. Over Yanner. Yeah. Over Yanner. Let's go over Yanner now. A Yuns. Yuns. Yeah, we don't say uh, y'all. That's that's more of a deep south thing, I think. I've never heard y'all used around here in my life. Have you? What's that? Y'all. 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 Well, I, I use it sometimes, but if you get down south now, Tony, yeah. you start talking about you all. Y'all. Y'all come on down. You got to say it. Y'all. We're going to eat some... Uh, we're gonna eat some onions and lettuce, kilt onions, and y'all, and cornbread and cold milk. Come on down. <laughs> we, we say you. I, I wish we had the y'all like water tower, like you know, back when we was all that kids Florence and has. making a racket. We say if you don't hush, we beat the fire out of you. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we got a famous uh, uh, stump athlete toe. in the in the house right now, right behind you, Mister Hunter Arnett. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. big, awesome. Big football stud. I tell you awesome. that. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, we want to we want to touch on that. We want to give a shout out to our yep, middle school team. He's on one of the teams that just cut down the nets. Awesome. There you go. Congratulations. Down here in Old McGoffin County. We support our local teams. Uh, our, our, we our high school. We we've been trying to follow them as yeah. much as we can. We've actually got a kid uh, with roots to uh, Craft Creek, Kentucky. Yeah, that's true. That's crazy that to me when I think about the it. The county scoring record. We've had a couple people ask us to touch on that. His name is Aiden Barnett. Me and his daddy grew up together like brothers. Uh, Robert yep. Barnett. Over at Bob, yeah. But uh, he's broke the county scoring record. Uh, he, I think the record was set sometime during the 50s, and he's, he's broken it. So he, he's an amazing athlete to watch. I, I, what I've noticed about him. If he's down in 10 feet or closer, he's automatic. <laughs> so that yeah. ball just rolls up the goal. He's I ain't automatic. never seen nothing like it. He's got a spin on it or something. Mm. It'll it'll climb. <clears throat> Ugler and sin. <laughs> Ugler, Ugler sin, that's than good. homemade sin. That's a notch above Ugler. <laughs> but, yeah, sin. we also got a Grayson Whitaker hit the 1,000-point club, too. Well, congratulations, so, yeah, Grayson, buddy. We're, we're proud of you here. We're all hometown boys, and, and we're, we support our hometown team, and we support all of eastern Kentucky. But yeah, yeah. At our heart, we're McGoffin County, I, I and do we know, support uh, our McGoffin County teams. The Johnson Central girls are really good right now, too. Johnson Central yeah. Johnson, girls. If Johnson we can Central get girls. about uh, – you know, I married an old Johnson Central girl. You did, did you know that? And, you and, married, and, you and did a marry a Johnson Central four girl. Four-year star athlete for the Johnson Central girls basketball. Is that right? Yeah. I did not know that. You did not know that. <laughs> see, yeah. uh-huh. brought her to Kentucky, or brought her to McGolfin County, and she ain't never went back. I took her twice across County Line, dropped her out, and she beat me home. <laughs> I'm telling you. Well, <laughs> she must like it. <laughs> craft you got any news for us, Hunter? I know we're putting you on the spot a little bit. What's up with you? Nothing much. Nothing much? We got baseball. Baseball is starting up. Baseball's, oh, yeah. coming, yeah. up. Baseball's coming up. Baseball's coming up. That's Baseball's right. coming up. Mm-hmm. Who? Me and Aiden. Will go oh, Aiden. Aiden's going to be playing? Yeah, awesome. You can't get Caleb to play baseball? Right. Hey. Blake was, but. Oh, Blake. Yeah, they're, they're weightlifting now, ain't they? No? No. They ain't weightlifting? Wait, you yeah. Weightlifting for high school. Okay, yeah, good, good. Those boys, I'm telling you, when these boys get about juniors, 
It's going to be dangerous, be McGough County, special, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. And if you can, and you ain't got nothing to do, pack up the youngins, pack up the children, and go out and watch these local boys. If you're local it's, here, watch them play ball. Because I taught them everything yeah. I know. Though, they, you know? They, they work hard, and they put in a lot of time and effort, and, and we need Absolutely. to support them. And we appreciate you all tuning in. Well, if we can get about 110 on your own, Tony, take a pie in the face. Oh. <laughs> you guys be sure to like and share this out. We greatly appreciate it. But there's one topic I'd love to talk about with Go you ahead. two to see what you guys think is the Appalachian rules at night. Rules at night. The rules at night time around here. Night. Well. Go ahead, Tony. Huh? Well, you know, depending on what neighborhood you're in, you know, they used to say lock up your young women, you know, but uh, they don't, depending on what neighborhood you're in, I guess. Uh, Appalachian rules at night, I, like Don mentioned earlier, always pack a, fa- a flashlight in the summertime because the copperheads are numerous. And the rattlesnakes. Yeah. And they will bite you. A they fork. will bite you. If you step on a copperhead or a rattlesnake, more than likely you're going to get bit. They'll all be on your porch. They're liable to be on your porch. You're liable to hang your foot over your porch and get bit. Pack a flashlight yeah. if you're going out at or dark at night. <laughs> say well, somebody comes up to your house in the middle of the night. What should they do first? Should they kind of announce themselves first? Pray, I'd I say, be the first thing. Yeah, pray. I mean, yeah. <laughs> pray a little bit. I mean, I don't know who in the world, unless it was an emergency, would be at your house. Yeah, like an emergency. Night, but but yeah. you announce yourself, knock on the door. People around here ain't crazy. We're good people. <laughs> But, you know, we're, we, we've got our own ways about doing things. So yeah. just knock on the door and tell them what you're doing. You'll be fine. Well, Usually when the dogs start barking, you got to kind of like announce yourself. Hey, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you yeah. know, the dogs, they'll, they'll warn you first. Most people here got a yard dog. They'll, yeah. they'll, they'll tell you they're coming. I'll tell you what my old mommy told me. I just thought about it. She was 93 when she died. Uh, she said that you never whistle at night because it would attract spirits. Yeah. That's, See, that's the I, stuff we're talking about I just about thought here. about that. It takes yeah. us into Whistling another topic. night will... Yeah, to attract spirits, bad, attract spirits. bad spirits. Yeah, yeah see, interesting. She said, "Don't whistle at night." She called see, me down for that it. Sends a chill up my spine because I'm scared to death of haints or anything to and do with said them. Said not to no look into the it. not to look into the wood too hard. I don't, don't know what she meant. That. She never did. Hard. She never. Don, did do you know that. about the stick that'll like? Oh, the witching stick. Yeah, the witching stick. That'll find water. It absolutely works, and and usually they get it from a. Oh, I used to know the. Peach tree limbs was Peach the best. Tree. I've seen it done. I think. Yes, then sir, maybe it somebody works. else used it. It'll find a, a grave, right? Or, or a birch. Well, it, yeah, it finds more. I water. think so, yeah. Water. I think it, it will water. find that, I think, too. I thought it was for grave finding. That's not marked. Water. water. Even the, even the, water. You can do it with metal rods, too. The the electric company use them right now. <laughs> I promise you that. If they're going to set a pole, yeah. They uh, like on your property, they'll get those rods out and... Uh, if there's any water lines, they don't want to mm. drill down the hole. Oh, it works like a charm. Yeah, it's a, it's so, an Appalachian staple. It's how the old yeah. timers they they dug their I wells. I think birch down. birch limbs too was used. I think. Yeah, you got to sure. think. Maybe uh, somebody can tell me for sure. I'm just guessing here. You got to think. A hundred years ago, you dug a well with a shovel by hand in an attic. I yeah. mean, a mattock and a, and a pick, yeah. and, and you wouldn't go waste your time of digging a well where there wasn't no water. Right. <laughs> You'd be up again. Yeah. It. And so I've heard it some I've heard some weird things at night. You know, I always say if if you hear people talking, they're really farther away than they seem. They seem closer at night. I don't know why. <laughs> something I'm, I'm something just, else for me, Don. Maybe you experienced this too, John. I don't know. When, when we were young, we always mowing cemeteries, you know. And you never oh, yeah. stepped on the grave. Never. You didn't want you step on oh, you. No. You didn't step on the grave. Well, you hold your I, breath when you pass cemetery. Did yeah, you hear that? You never stepped on the grave. <laughs> I, I told yeah. my daughter the, just the other day not to step on the grave. And she, because she didn't know no better. Well, I, a, I don't know, you know if that's a superstition or if that's a respect thing. I think maybe it's more somebody, respect thing. Maybe no. somebody out there would. I say it's just uh, respectful. I don't know. I think maybe there's something to that. More respectful. Maybe somebody, there might be something else to it, but I always yeah, thought it was more respectful. Like a, and you know, I'll tell you something always petrified folklore. me, and it still does to this day. If you get a bird in the house, that's a sign of death. Oh, yeah. It scares brutal. me, son. It puts a bird me in, in the house? A bird in the house <laughs> is a sign of death, and it puts me in panic mode. I mean, severe panic mode. What's you mean can, well, well, you can ask the girls at work here. We had a bird get in the restaurant a couple of years back, and I went right for a cat. week. It like they destroyed me. <laughs> I mean, it scared me to death. Well, if you get a snake in the house. Me. Well, I've, I've found snakes in the house. That ain't no big deal. Don't so it's just a bird. Anybody sweep under your feet or you won't get married that year. If a black cat crosses the road in front of you, you exit out. Like, that normal uh, life still do now, it to this day. That, like walking under a ladder, that was brought over here from the Irish. Probably from some of the you know, the Ulster Scots you know, that I mean, came over. Scottish Probably some of those custom, like, you know, like raining cats and dogs. You know where that come from, John? Raining cats and dogs. You ever heard raining cats from? and dogs? Uh, I used to know what that was, but I forgot. In the old days, 
they built their roofs out of like what we would call straw. Well, when he'd come a big rain, the cats and dogs would get up high out of the rain. Well, sometimes the roof would collapse, and it'd bring the cats and dogs right down <laughs> on the floor. So they uh, called it raining cats and dogs. Okay. I know what uh, my, cats mind and dogs. P's and Q's mean. I've heard that one. That's uh, that's from old England. That's uh, uh, at the uh, bars that stood for pints and quarts. Oh. <laughs> you you got to watch. You not know, drink too many. Yeah. You got to mind your P's and Q's. I think I'm right on that. Yes, ma'am, Marsha Williams. That is still practice here today. It came originally from the old days when everybody kept, when somebody would pass away, they had the body up at the house. Yeah, you touched on that earlier. And uh, it, it's still done to this day at most, most if, if especially if they have, you know, if they have them in a church. Some of the funeral homes, I think, frown on it these days around here. They won't let you set up all night. But really? most of the old women that are left or, or men or whoever want to set up with their relative all night. And I think man. where that started from was a necessity. I think I, I've read something about that. was uh, years and years ago, you know, a lot of the places didn't have doors. And they set up to keep the animals and stuff off the corpse. I think really that's where that started. I think that's where that hmm. went. Yeah, but it's still practice here today. Uh, not like it was when I was a kid. I remember many a night uh, waking up and asleep in a church pew and somebody laying a corpse, yeah. you know, and it petrified me then and it still does now. Well, but I don't know. It's not done as prominently as it was years ago, but it's still done some, yes. I've been at some wakes that day, some weird stuff went on. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, kind of make you. Think, wow, what was that? So, good know. funny story about that, right quick. Let's hear it. Here we go. <laughs> Me and my cousin had went to church to a Christmas play with two young ladies years ago. Uh, my cousin can attest to this, and they they had, it was a Christmas play, and they had baby Jesus in a manger, and we was all sitting there, you know, and everybody doing good, and I got to watching that baby Jesus, and it opened its eyes. <laughs> I said, oh, God, and I jumped up, and I said, Kurt, did you see that? To call him by name. No, what is it, son? I said, that thing opened its eyes, Kurt. Ah, there ain't no way that's a baby doll. I said, tell me there ain't no way. <laughs> well, I got to watching, and it done it again. I looked around and said, you know, I see a baby, it opened its eyes. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I said, I know it did. Now, I said, I'm out of here. You stay here if you want to. <laughs> Come to find out it's one of them baby dolls. We didn't even know they made them, but it was one of them baby dolls that opened its eyes. Oh, okay. It petrified me, son. Tore me up like a soup bean sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel says that some of them what not weren't hundred percent dead, and they might wake up. Well, I think that comes from a tradition that 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 there was during the English times, if I remember correct, that a lot of them was made, drinking liquor, and, well, and they was drinking it in a lead cup. And, and these people well, let's give themselves lead poisoning. Well, they was getting lead poisoning, <laughs> yeah. and put them in a state of like, uh, uh, well, a coma. Yeah. And people thought they was dead, and they'd bury them, son, or, or set them, them alive. And let me continue with that little piece of this now, they buried them alive and they found out you know some of them tried to dig up so that's where the phrase saved by the bell come from saved by the bell they started hanging a bell over the grave and running the ward uh, line or whatever down in the casket or whatever so they ring if they the woke bell, up, if they woke up they'd ring the bell huh. there you go you know when you got common people in common times they figure out how to do things to common so about all these yeah. things that got you know stem from something it's like throwing the throwing the baby out with the dishwater you know where that comes from <laughs> throwing uh, the baby out ahead. with the dishwater don does do you know <laughs> no, no, he ain't got a clue. <laughs> years ago Ain't people didn't wash like they do now. Uh -huh. There wasn't no such thing as taking a shower every day. Uh -uh. I didn't. Uh, we didn't even have showers, really, did, did you? So the man would wash first, then everybody else down the line, and then they'd wash the baby sometimes in in in, in, the, in the dishwater. Yeah, well, it'd be so dirty. It'd be so dirty you couldn't even see. You couldn't see <laughs> what was the in baby. It. Yeah, so that's what that's where it come from. Throwing the baby out of the dishwater. Uh, we never had running water on the head of paddle until I was fourteen years old. Oh, wow. 1968. We took baths in the summertime in a number two wash tub out back. And, you know, uh, just the way it was, it's cold water. Every now and then, you know, you might get some hot water, but not usually. And uh, that was interesting. We didn't have no inside plumbing, you know. We had outside toilet, you know. And that's like these yeah. cold nights, that's kind of rough. But they weren't a blade of grass in the yard, you know, when I was <laughs> <laughs> right. Brings me up something that you're. That's crazy. People they think about the front yards, John. 
Yeah. You swept, swept your front, front yard with a broom. You didn't want no grass in your front yard. Why? Of course, you had the chickens all out picking and this and that. But you uh-huh. well, because the people yard. peed off the porch a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, they wasn't growing anyway, was it? <laughs> the, chickens, the chickens did the rest, you know. And I've seen Mom sweep the yard a many times, you know. But, uh, yeah, in 68, man, we didn't even take uh, – well, that's where I guess I got used to not taking a shower in the wintertime. You ain't supposed to take showers in the wintertime. Yeah. yeah. It dries your skin out. Yeah, well, it does bind you until looking at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's flakage. So flakage. It, you know, yeah. <laughs> Once a month, I'll take a shower, maybe. It, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, the Sears catalog, that's crazy to think about that, really. Somebody commented yeah. back then, even in my day, you know, the Sears and Roebuck catalog, when I was a child, that was the biggest thing in the world. I mean, Oh, you, yeah. You weighed to get that puppy, and and I we well, had yeah. an outhouse when we first. Uh, well, yeah, my that's... dad bought an old church house, and we moved in it. We didn't have running water. Uh, we had an outhouse. We did have toilet paper, but I remember having an old hand pump on a well, and that's what we'd wash it under when I was I was small. I was a kid, but we'd have an old hand pump on the well. And I remember my biggest fear about the outhouse in the summertime was a spider crawling up and biting me on the rear end. I don't know why I had that in my mind, but uh, I was scared to death of that. And then down at my papa's house, he had an outhouse, and he had two of them hissing white geese. And some of them things would guard that toilet. I mean, they want to fight. They as meaner than cut rats, I'm telling you. And listen, I got tired of it finally and took me a broom handle to him. Well, I killed one of his geese on accident, you know, and he liked to kill me. He liked more, he wore me out over that. Did you have a one seater or a two seater? We had a one seater. Uh, they two. make two seaters outhouses. I ain't yeah, heard you that. could sit there, man. You could sit there, you know, and at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of that, <laughs> just go to Speaking of that, like topic, me and you, yeah. do people do that? Yeah. Just at the same time, just going. Well, yeah, you had to, you know, sometimes. Speaking of you that know, topic. Couldn't wait. We just got <laughs> the water. The bad bed of beans, right. you know, you had to go. We just got the water coming down the branch, which most people don't use the word branch, but we yeah. do. It's, it's, it's a stream coming down from the top. And back in the old days, the people waited for the springtime to, for the water to come down the branch to wash out from under the outhouses. Yeah. Take well, it yeah. on down the creek. Yeah, we couldn't afford lime, you know, so we don't relied on dogs and pets and, uh, and high water, possums high, and raccoons. And high water to wash it out. <laughs> and uh, water, you know. Now, we had well water, but yeah, we didn't no, have no, like... Well, I was raised on cornbread and well water. <laughs> I, had, I had well water growing up, but I didn't I didn't have no outhouse. We had the hole where the outhouse used to be. Right. Uh, well, you wouldn't believe how mess. long it took my dad to use the bathroom inside the house. It yeah. didn't suit him. He it didn't, didn't like it. It was different, wasn't it? Well, he said... It, weren't supposed to do that. We're to, <laughs> I'd say it was not the same room. So. No, yeah. we got we got people here commenting that's got really good stuff, but I can't get to them all because we're talking to. <laughs> oh yeah, there are a lot of you know, comments uh, here. Uh, I can't even see mine. Like uh, the graveyard shift, Rachel was telling us that's where that came from. I set up and watch the graveyard. Yeah, yep. listen yep. for the bell. Yeah, and uh, uh, let's see. Uh, we got all kinds of comments. Thank you guys for the comments. Keep them yeah. coming. We'll get to them when we can. Um. Uh, Somebody asked if there's anything about having a squirrel in the house. <laughs> rocking an empty rocking chair, Mark Melvin. Uh, is Ain't supposed to, to mess where you eat. That's right. I, th- yeah. I guarantee that's what they're saying. Oh, yep. Well, you yep. didn't eat in the bathroom, did you? You remember last week? <laughs> well, it's the same just, building, same yeah. room. You're supposed to mess oh, outside and eat inside. We didn't have Febreze. The, <laughs> the, there probably wasn't a lot of rooms either, right? <laughs> right. You know. Everybody only had like a one-room house, well, maybe? Know. Well, no, we had, we had a, you know... Uh, uh, three rooms and a path, I call it. You know? Three rooms and a path, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Different times, but God knows they were good yeah. times. And you really had what said about the snakes and varmints, you oh, know, if you, yeah. if you feared to trek to the bathroom after dark, you know. It was a adventure sometimes. You, you probably didn't have a uh, flashlight either, right? No. Oh. Couldn't afford the batteries, John. <laughs> And one of the worst things, one of the worst things you had to watch out for, John, you get a rat in the house. Oh. oh yeah. And listen, a rat chew its way into the house, and he'd chew through a hole, and you'd stuff it with a pop can. Well, then the <laughs> next night, he'd chew through another hole, and you'd have stuff it with a pop can. Yeah. So it was a constant struggle to keep a rat out of the house oh, if you yeah. had them trying to get Rats. in. You ever get a rat in your house, Don? Oh, yeah. yeah. They, they're vicious, you know. Yep. They, yeah. They'll attack you, you know, if you let them. You hear them gnawing in the walls, you know, you couldn't sleep. Guys, comment and let us know 
But you how have about our closed big, caption and how, like the how it's caption. picking up our accent. I'm curious about <laughs> dogs and cats. I'd say it's know, got a lot better. Yeah. AI and like uh, we've got uh, we've we got a lot of dogs and cats to keep the varmints away. Yeah. We've we got snake dogs. It picks up everything we're saying I'm and it puts that. it across the screen. I just wonder that's how it's uh, picking up our accent. That's amazing, Grace. But <laughs> no, it can't pick her. Up. It can't pick her accent up. No. Yeah, I agree. It probably does these I days. So. I, I don't think it used to be able to. Oh, okay. Like I said before, there was this program at this school I worked at called Dragon Naturally Speaking. Oh yeah. And you had to put it down like an Appalachian. You had to select the twang, like put a twang to pick up the twang, and it could what do it a little that? bit. It, but I'd say it's got even better with AI and stuff now. So it's untelling how it good should. it is now. Right. I see Maybe a topic down here know. that says Appalachian Witchcraft, and I'm going to go ahead and answer that one for Let's me. I don't want no part of it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to okay. be around it. It scares the absolute bejesus out of me. I'm God-fearing, and I don't want nothing to do with none of that. You don't want to talk about it at all Absolutely tonight? not. No, sir. Okay. Well, yeah, I, mean, I think. I, can I just? <laughs> Let's hear what I mean, Donna has to say. You, you can make me not sleep on. tonight if you. If, if, if. No, I think somebody is jabbing me in the back with a, you know, like a. See that scare that scare the bejesus. A doll, you know I, what I they just, call I, them? Oh, they got voodoo doll. doll. Voodoo no, doll. You think you got a voodoo doll? I'm, I'm telling you. you. I mean, and listen, you know. I'm to, sorry, whoever this is, let up on me. To each their own. <laughs> <laughs> but now, Lord Tommy, don't want nothing to do with no witchcraft or none of that, folks. Well, they so say you're you know, saying it's real, right? Well, it was real to people back then I because think it still is real. The, uh, we, you know, they was people that my mom talked about all the time that could. Uh, they called everything witchcraft, like. Uh, uh, blowing far out if you got burnt stopping blood uh, uh uh they'd say people would witch their cows where they'd go dry or then uh, a whole bunch of stuff you all you all hit me out here i forgot a lot of stuff like that that these days they, you know could cure illnesses uh my mom uh one thing she had like warts all over her hand and this one old lady she said uh, told her to take a penny and bury it and never think about it again and her warts went away and they called her a witch. That, uh, well, the one. I, I mean, but but I'm talking about now deviling. Now I'm on a different. No, I, I'm a deviling into stuff you ought not be a deviling in. Yeah. You know? And that, my thing is, you know, you avoid that foolishness. I don't want no part of it. I don't want to be around yeah. it. Yeah. I don't want it yeah. within a hundred miles. I don't either. I don't either. But it gives me the eebie-jeebies, and, and I don't want to open myself <laughs> up to A lot of nothing, that stuff ever. back then they no. call witches. Oh, they did for good stuff, you know. Well, well, then, uh, yeah, I mean, if you're talking about like old remedies and cures, but now if you're talking but, about actual this actual foolishness of these. Uh, <laughs> so how does a penny get rid of a wart? Well, I think, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's, uh, it's, I think, maybe a faith deal. Yeah, I, I, don't I don't know. Uh, well, the Bible says if you got faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. So. Yeah. But... Uh, <laughs> There's like people that can do stuff, you know. I believe that. Yeah, oh, yeah. So the the, the Appalachian witchcraft topic, I'm going to skip. <laughs> it's all right with everybody. Uh, oh, thank, thanks, Marcus. My mamma used to tell people that they were witches in the head of the holler, conspiring against people. Because when you get a group of screech owls together in a tree somewhere in the head of a holler, at a distance, they kind of sound like people talking. Well, right. there's a lot of that goes on, too. That's Let right. me tell you something else to make the hair stand up on your back. Of course, everybody knows I'm a hunter, and I spend a lot of times in the woods, night and day. Hear a bobcat scream, son. Sound like a screaming woman. It'll absolutely <laughs> petrify you. Well, you get a bobcat <clears throat> screaming? Or a wildcat, which is different than a bobcat. Well, no. Uh, yeah. Wildcat uh, is gray. Well, a uh, bobcat a wild, yeah. No, they're different. But anyway, them Look things are screaming. Sound, no, sound like a, a sound, sounds just like a woman. Sounds right? like a it's woman in a scream. Top of her lungs, it'll petrify you. You not sleep good, you hear one. That ain't no joke, Tony. <laughs> Darby Howard says. You know, but no, I don't like, like with all that foolishness now. And oh little, no, I ain't dealing with it. I just no, 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 no. I ain't listen, dealing with it. Listen, uh, I'll visit any church. Love all churches. Love all people. But they start out with snakes. <laughs> That's uh, what they me and kill me, or or, nope. this, or this other stuff, the casting out stuff. I'm out. See you. Have a good day. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, I ain't dealing with the with snakes you. either. <laughs> no, no. I mean, and listen, now don't get me wrong. I'm not knocking on anybody or their faith, but I don't want to be snake bit. And I've made it in Appalachia all these years without getting snake bit. Yeah. Well, Have you, think, uh, somebody think. asked earlier if you if we knew anybody that's been snake bit. Yes, sir. I do. I don't several people. Don't oh, you? Yeah. What's the worst? Tell us the worst one you've seen. That I've seen personally? It would yeah, be personally. Probably, it, it, more, most of the time. A rattlesnake ain't going to bite you. Uh, personal experience. I was squirrel hunting one day. 
And I started watching these squirrels cutting this hickory tree. And I said, well, I'll sit down here. And I said, I'll tack me about six of these babies. You know, I'm not even have to get up, you know. <laughs> so me, I was a big boy. And, and I sat down and kind of fell down on the ground. I fell down with my left hand. Well, son, listen. My shotgun was laying over here. I look over at my left hand. Here's a timber rattler. Quad up. Quad. That's good. Quad up. Quad. That is a. Looking at me. Well, my shotgun's over here and my hand's here, and I said, well, if I move, this thing will bust me. And I said, I'm destroyed. I'm done right here, you know. Good. But I had enough sense to, uh, had enough sense. I had a stick right here. I could feel a stick on the ground. So I reached right fast and pitched that stick, and that sucker turned and looked. And when it did, I dispatched him. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Marcus Adams <laughs> says, and that's true, Marcus. Sears and Roebuck shipped anything from clothes, guns, to houses. You could... They'd ship you a house. I know a couple that would build on Fermat of Fork in the 60s. Really? In the 60s. Really? I saw yeah. where they shipped somebody house would, patterns. I, I, somebody I would I, ship you a house? Yeah. Yes. It, Sears it and Roebuck. You could buy an actual house pattern pre-fabbed. back in the day. Who yeah. would? The, well, Sears I mean, and Roebuck catalog. Oh, and the Sears, you could, somebody could ship you a house. Yes. That's you, interesting. You I didn't together. know that. Yeah, uh, you put it together. Yeah, I saw. And they're still actually... To be honest, you know, of course, we, we can talk all day about uh, what, what made and, you know, made today and made back then, but there's still some of them standing. I saw an article not too long ago about Yeah, it. that's true. Huh. Still some of them standing that were put together back in the 30s, I 40s, did not know you could do that. And people, of course, took advantage of them, you know. They would get stuff and not pay for it. Karen Hurts says Jared has been snake bit. So at least I know somebody that's been snake bit. Yeah. Well, uh, Hud Allen was snake bit. Hud Allen, yeah. Hook got snake bit. Yep. Copperhead? Yep, Copperhead Ooh. got him. He was a boy, and he'd come out on the front porch and hung his foot over, and hit Rich up and tapped him. I got snake bit on the boot, but never, you know, I never got, like, poison bit. It bit me on the boot. Squirrel, I'll tell you what i done one hunt. time. This is the truth, and these people can attest to this, boys. I had a dream. Speaking of that, I had a dream that I was going to run on a copperhead. Well, about... T- Two days after that, me and my cousin Jacob Allen was putting the dogs up. We had been out of hunting, and there popped in a big copperhead, and we had to kill it with a tube before. Oh, Truth. them copperheads. Truth. I've seen a lot of snakes while they're, weeding. They're mean. That's why I see them the most. Oh, you, you heard old saying, meaner than a copperhead snake? Yeah. Now, getting back on my point, <laughs> I got off of it. A rattlesnake, a quaw, and rattle. That's a warning. Uh-huh. You about have to stick your hand in a rattlesnake's mouth to get it to strike at you. They're not interested in striking at you. Really? Copperhead. It's a defense mechanism. Now, a copperhead. Oh, they're mean. They'll run you down, son. Yeah, they will. They'll run you down. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you every word of the truth. I didn't know anything that got copperhead bit either. We got okay. that in common. I hate them and they hate me. Yeah, I don't That's like another snakes. one I know. You know for There's all three, three people, people I know have got snake bit now. People out here that love snakes. We got a hundred, Tony. I don't like we're snakes. Oh, we're rolling. We're rolling. <laughs> I don't come back and see us, boy. I really don't know how people love good snakes. Good to have you. Oh, Hang guys, around. we need to shout out our good friend Ronnie Montgomery tonight. Oh, yeah. 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 He's at home. He's sick under the he's, weather. Uh, He'll be down here with us. Uh, he's Scopey. got the grand funk or something. But, I don't know. Uh, I want to shout him out. Hope he's on here watching and uh, hope he gets feeling better soon. We miss him. Yeah. Yeah, I hope he gets feeling better soon. Yeah, y'all pray for him. He's got the flu, I guess. I don't know. I don't know exactly what he's got going on. He's pretty rough shape. Uh, Tony, Don, let's go to another topic. Do you guys have any, have any Appalachia scary stories to tell? What's the scariest story you got? Why, yeah. Go ahead, Tony. I've got, you got something Tony? that can't be told, you know. Scary uh, story. Scary, scary story. Believe. That's happened. Nobody would believe mine. Nobody so, believe yours? <laughs> I, I hardly ever let the truth stand in the way of a good story, but... <laughs> this, ain't, this, ain't, this ain't too old. On something like this, I will. And I won't call their names, but I love them both like my brothers. Me and two fellas is back running dogs, and this ain't been too long ago. Uh-huh. And we start seeing these lights are coming up out of the horizon. One of the fellers is getting plum tore up because he's thinking it's some kind of attack on our country. <laughs> The other fellers are telling me, said, I think that's a fallen star, a meteorite. I said, uh-huh. that ain't a meteorite. I said, it's a climbing. I said, it ain't a fallen. It's a going yen way. It's a climbing. Yen way. Yen I way. love that say, yeah. Yen he way. said, well, I believe it's a meteorite. Well, the other fellow said, oh, Lord, said they're attacking our country. Well, we watched this thing for an hour, son. We ever one tore in the ziblet, you know, tore all the pieces. And it's a climbing, Don. He keeps saying it's a meteor. I said, son, a meteor don't climb. It falls. I'm thinking aliens. Well... <laughs> We sat and pondered on it. We got tore up. We left the hill and went home and we got to reading about it and looking about it later. And it was the, the Starlink going up when they first sent it up. The, uh, oh, the Elon, Elon Musk, Elon Musk Starlink. Starlink. 
that up. Uh, okay. <laughs> it tore us out of pieces. Wow. All right. Oh, Lord. Dom, what you got? Uh, there's some weird things went on. They had a paddle, you know, for a middle fork. Like, oh, yeah. It was, every little holler was haunted, you know, hainted. Uh, hainted. <laughs> I would go down to my cousin Bud's, and and uh, I usually stayed too late every time. You know, it'd get dark, and I was about over half a mile from the head of paddle, you know, and and I'd say, now, I'm not going to run tonight when I'd start up the holler you know and, and i you know and then i'd hear something and then it'd just be the further the faster i was running and i was hearing more it felt like somebody right on my heels you know and i believe there was half the time you know and i'd bust through the door give out you know <laughs> and, and a shame uh, to but, tell it yeah and but you know i have well like i say i've seen some weird stuff up there you know like i don't want to get into that really Okay. Well, they, like they, people, they, it caused they, people to die and stuff. And these I, weird I, stuff in these. Uh, uh, these seems like the stuff. scariest stories always happen when you're out at a cabin well, you know, or somewhere a lot of this in the time, woods. You know, a lot of this time could have been chemically induced. I ain't going to say, <laughs> I ain't gonna say well, that. Was this in the 70s? Uh, 60s and 70s. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, not, I'm just going to leave it there because sometimes you don't know what's real. Phew. Well, you mind okay. to play tricks on you too, oh, like I said. Because listen, there's, there's, you get out in these old hills and hollers. There's noises and there's animals. That's the thing. There's it's the things. noises. There's noises and animals and things you don't know what and don't understand. And uh, 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 you know, it's like it could be. You know, you could be a seeing a shadow of a miller. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> now, uh, you could be seeing a shadow of a miller. And I think it hits a, it's it's the oh, we call it the Mothman. Yeah. Uh, wait, yeah. Uh, another word. I've seen the Mothman around here. It's a Miller. I guess the way Miller, here, yeah. they call them moths. Moth, <laughs> I've moth. seen lights on cemeteries. I've heard people moth. talking. Moth, 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 moths. Moths. moths, moths, moths. But around here we call them a Miller. Miller. <laughs> I've also some, called something else. But some I'm of the Millers saying. live. <laughs> they some Millers lives up the river. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lord. Yeah. Uh, Cardi Branch has a ghost marry the lady with a lantern. She comes down from the old Cardi graveyard looking for her family. Tony saw old-fashioned shoe prints recently in the snowstorm. Looked like shoes from the 1800s. See, stuff like that. Yeah. It creeps me uh, out. Well, you know, I could. I mean, if you, I've seen things and heard things I couldn't explain. But I'll be honest with you, like the song goes, you know, I pray my way out of trouble when I get in them <laughs> situations because that's well, the only thing I know, too. You know? I did, yeah. too. I I was back on the hill, drove truck, you know, went, stayed all night on the hill in a sleeper. And then something got in there with me, you know, and laid across me. Felt, <laughs> it felt, laid across yeah, you? Yeah, I wouldn't move. I was scared to death, you know. It just laid, laid on just, top I of I felt you. the weight lay across me, all across my legs, you know. And I said, oh, well, here it is, you know. I, I said, <laughs> and I pinched myself, you know. It felt real. I don't think I was dreaming. I, th- kinda, I said, that hurt to myself, you know, really. I pinched myself, make sure I was awake. And then I just, uh, I started praying, you know, get out of here in the name of Jesus or whatever. And it moved a little bit. And then I pinched myself again. And I, I said that again, and it got up and left. Now, I don't know. You know. So there you go. That was, a, was like one, of, say, one of my experiences, you know. And I was, I was pretty straight yeah. at that time. I yeah. pray my way out of trouble. Yeah. I've seen things that scared me. Oh, I have too. And I've seen things I couldn't explain and understand, and I just, uh, you know, I, I cling to the higher power. Well, every time, I, every time I would stay somewhere in a cabin, like surrounded by hills or something, somebody would tell me a scary story. And this one that sticks with me is about some warrior running off the hills. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. in the middle of the night, like he would just tear down the trees yeah, and everything. Yeah. And I swear, I thought I saw him well, you coming did. at night, you and me, and, me and sitting there just uh, staring off into the hills. Sure like I was I thinking bet. I was sure seeing it I coming. I definitely have heard Flip tell about stuff, and I'm I'm sure I feel in my heart that he 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 seen it and heard what he did too. A little listening from Ohio, old but Flip. Old think Flip. about this, boys. These Appalachian Mountains are what millions of years old. Is yeah, that, is that what yeah. the? Think about the people. Every step you take through the woods, every step you take a hunt, and every step you take through your front yard. Think about the people. That have passed through there. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, tons of people. It, it ain't and, no uh, way of knowing. Ain't no way of telling. Yeah. You know. Uh, and, and listen, these old timers and these people—they knew things and they saw things and they and they they were prepared for everything. Native American, you know, a lot well, of remedies. You know, I remember when 
I was a kid, we always went barefooted, you know, and I was always stepping on nails, and they was always rusty. <laughs> yeah. and, and, you know, that was that was tetanus, you know, no doubt, you know, and they didn't, they didn't get, I didn't get to go to the doctor, you know, when I was little. And uh, Mom would send my brother Harold to the hill, and he'd get pine rosin, if you all know what that is, that's a... That's a gob of, like, save. It looks like you yeah, use it as save. It's just a gob of yellowish, clear stuff that just comes out of a pine tree, and it'll ball up. And come find out later, it's what they make turpentine out of. I think it's why it worked. Yeah. And <laughs> okay. she'd send her out to get a gob of that pine rosin, and she'd put it on my foot and wrap it in a white rag. She'd put a little bit on it, and the, it would draw that rust out of that wound. I promise you, it would be on that white that's rag, not. all that rust. And you was okay. Yeah, ain't so, that you know, that's just one, you know. God bless my brother. He stepped on every rake. If they was a rake with <laughs> 50 miles of him, he'd step on it. But his worse than that. He'd step on the rake, run the rake up through his foot, and, and the handle would come up and bust his nose in his nose blade if you looked at him. So yep. he, he, we run in the house, him with a rake through his foot, and his nose busted. <laughs> I think Jerry, Jerry's nose would it'd bleed if you touched Some it. Some people have, but they say the old timers, if you put a if you put a nickel or a quarter on your nose when it's a bleeding, it'll stop the nose from bleeding. Well, I never did have a quarter to do that when I was a kid, you know. What could a quarter buy when you was a young? Well, okay, well, I, had, I had a little store about six miles down the road. I'd drive my bicycle down there, and... Uh, quarter you could get well you get a lot you could feed yourself you could get ice cream pop candy bar moon pie you know everything was like three cents to a nickel that's crazy pop was maybe a dime so you know vein in a they used to have just a pack of crackers had two in a pack you could get them you know you could eat pretty good get your can of vein pop and a moon pie i'm sure for a quarter or yeah like oh, or yeah. 10 cents Quarter. quarter i even remember the days of down here in town at the old uh well it's shop right i guess they had a pop machine out there it was orange pop grape pop peach pop is quarter pop machine i used to start on an old bicycle from the head of paddle and i'd try to pick up pop balls and there's you know re refunds on them you know like i don't know nickel or something i didn't have a poke or a bag or nothing you know to put them in and we didn't have no dollar general bags or nothing you know nothing was plastic and I'd try to stuff them in my pockets, and in my shirt, and in my pants. <laughs> and by the time I got down there, I might, I'd start with 10, have maybe three. Yeah, <laughs> lose them all. Yeah. I, got a story. I went up to, I went up to uh, Michigan, where we got a lot of people watching from, and got with my cousin Jimmy Allen, and he had some bottles. He was going to go in and change in. Well, we had to cross through a little section of woods to get to the store. So – we crossing through and we find some eggs, some kind of eggs. He said, let's get them eggs. I said, all right. So I get them eggs and put them in my pocket. Time we get to the store and cash our bottles in, I got me a bunch of suckers. And by the time I got home, son, them suckers destroyed them oh. eggs and busted in my pocket. And they yoke all over my suckers. Oh. <laughs> oh. But I'm the pull out the hot machines and, and peanuts and coke. Corn. Yeah. And a drink. And, and I think, Coke is absolutely, good. Buddy. I think the great Barbara Mandrell said, I was country when country <laughs> wasn't cool. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Well, well, guys, you tell, tell us about this thing right here, Tony. This, uh... Oh, yeah, that's a good topic. I wanted to bring this up. If you guys see this, uh, we're talking about Appalachia and the customs here and all the people. Of course, everybody here carries a pocket knife. Most people that you find in Appalachia, if you're a man, has got a pocket knife. <laughs> Well, a friend of ours, an old gentleman from over on Mill Branch named Roy Hobo Sayers, is a whittler. And there's a lot of whittlers around here. Mm -hmm. So he does a lot of whittling. Well, he made me this old-fashioned sled, and he said this is the kind of sled that you would have traveled through the snow with when he was a boy. I think, how, what has he done? Is he 90, knocking on 90? Yeah, I'd say so. He's probably close to 90 I remember years sleds, old. you know, like that. But he hand-whittled me this sled, and I've kept it ever since. And he also does a lot of crosses. And if yeah. you'll look right here, you'll see that uh, he hand-whittled this cross, and he yeah. gives them out to people and mm -hmm. puts his name and date on it. But I thought that was so cool that he hand-whittled that sled, said and hand-whittled it was made out of cedar. Now, around here with the fellers that whittles, cedar is their gold. Cedar. They want yep. cedar wood because it cedar. smells good. Yeah, and, it does and, smell good. Listen, if you can't take a piece of cedar and curl it 
You're not I a figured good you as a straight razor talk. You so know, you have to. Cur- I, do, I do need to. Do, I'd like to learn how to whittle a little bit. So you have to find the cedar, cedar, good cedar wood. You gotta yeah. find good cedar wood for whittling. Are you fellas ready to bring on some kilt lettuce and onions? Well, yeah. That or we could do a giveaway or something. Yeah, let's well, do the giveaway. We'll eat the last because I want to do some Okay, meat. we need a, uh, we're going to have our girls in the back, part of our uh, <clears throat> cast, <laughs> are, are going to pick some winners for our giveaways. And the first one we'll do is our hometown tax and bookkeeping. Uh, great people, hometown tax and bookkeeping are awesome, awesome people down there. It's Mary uh, Collinsworth and her crew. Uh, they want to donate a free tax prep to give away here on the podcast. Hey, that's big. So, you guys go ahead, visit them, check them out. You'll not find no finer people, and we'll get the girls in the back to go ahead. So and let's tell them to put something that. in chat that, that makes sure they're live and listening right now so we can, they can pick them out easy. Just okay. a word. Well, put uh, put a know. word, guys. Give us a word. Yeah, put like banjo. Let's use the, the, the word banjo right now. If you, uh, put, if you want to be part of this uh Giveaway, use the word banjo in chat right now, and we'll have somebody pick She's you up. She's ready to uh, kill the uh, lettuce. Uh, uh, we'll, uh, we'll pick the fourth person that, that types in banjo. So we're waiting and, on And we'll that. keep it local, guys. Of course, you know, it's not going to be good for anybody that's not around here. Michigan, we ain't going there this week. I've got one, two, three. Ohio, Indiana. <laughs> We'd like to. Ricky Deaton. Ricky Deaton is going to be Ricky. the winner of our... Uh, Hometown tax and bookkeeping uh, donate their, their free tax preparation. Yeah. All right, All right, guys. The next one we're going to do is, uh, of course, down at the Peddler's Mall, uh, chocolate-covered strawberries, uh, Jackie Prater, my cousin, uh, Kentucky Florals. If you've not been down there, you need to go down there and visit them. Uh, let's do holler for this one, the sixth person. Holler. It yeah. types in the word holler. Holler. We're going to give away yeah. 12 chocolate-covered strawberries. Two 12 chocolate-covered strawberries the for the word holler. The person that types the word in holler. I'm going to type that in myself. And, you ain't, <laughs> and listen, we don't care how you spell it. We'll get the gist. <laughs> Uh-oh. Let's go. And while we're, we're gonna, doing this. We're going to kill right, this lettuce. Right now we're going to kill the lettuce. We're going to murder this lettuce. Right. While we're doing this, we're going to have kilt lettuce. Wow, that's hot, ain't it? Well, I say That's smoking hot. Whoa. Whoa, Whoa what's a fry the lettuce? Yeah. I say the fifth person. Killed it. Six. Kathy Arnett Hunley. Whoa. I say fifth or sixth. You said six. I said the sixth person. Sorry. Kurt McDaniel. Kurt McDaniel, boy. Kurt McDaniel. What do you win? That's the sixth holler, John. Make sure I'm right on that. <laughs> Did, so, so Kurt's the, the... Well, make sure he's the sixth holler. I want to get it right. All right. Let's, woo. let's see. Let me go back down here. Well, it... it, it I, it won't let me go much further. I got Rachel Sizemore, one, Twana Mans, two, Cassie Howard, three, Wanda Arnett, four, Daniel Howard, five, Stetson Allen, six is what I got. On uh, on Holler? On Holler. Yeah. Okay, then now you will go off your computer because he, these nope. phones. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> these phones are not uh, picking up the comments right. So, guys, we're doing the best we we're can. Done best we can. <laughs> Don't Rigged. get mad at us here. <laughs> that's all I, I couldn't. It had so many, it wouldn't let me go. Uh, not, we I, tried, Kurt. That's not working out, good, though, because it doesn't pop <laughs> we up. We tried, Kurt. Yeah. It, it, pop it, it, it popped up well, way too fast. Wow. So, we, Stetson Allen with the strawberries. It's cornbread, kilt lettuce, and onions, and fried taters. Oh, yeah. Is that the Don's? Well, that's Don's. Okay. That's not. Wow, we. Wow. Boy, can anybody see that? You talk about some good eating. Oh, yeah, they can see that. They can I see need that the right pepper there. bad and the salt. And the corn. Sometimes bread. you need to well, put an emoji talk because. And I'll, I'll get you. You, go, you guys comments. go ahead. I'm busy. We're gonna, all right, we won't now. see emojis either. Here's what we the got. order of we comments got will be different taters, for most people. Cornbread and kilt lettuce and onions, Appalachian staple. Mm. John has never had <laughs> kilt lettuce and onions. I've never had kilt lettuce and onions. I'll tell you a spice of vinegar with that. And that is good cornbread. <laughs> I got to eat with my fingers. You can't eat kilt less with a fork. Thank you. Next week, Lord well, Willem, we're going to have some sauce meat, pickled sauce meat. Oh. <laughs> Those are kilt lettuce and onions. And well, taters if y'all and don't know what sauce is, you might know what a head, you've heard of head, head cheese, ain't you? So it's got bacon and everything on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm. Good, ain't eh, John? What's wrong with that, John? Nothing. <laughs> That's real good. I didn't know that was until tonight. <laughs> we get to eat good meals on here, day. too. We'll see you. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to finish that in a minute. Does that give you the same as the pickle bologna, or do you enjoy that more? Oh, this is amazing compared to that pickle bologna. 
Absolutely amazing. You getting that good? Oh, yeah. Absolutely amazing. Well, that's some good stuff right there now, I'm telling you. Breeze, John. <laughs> yeah, that, that stuff's good. One more giveaway. <laughs> All I hear is lip smacking, yeah. We do have one more giveaway. How do you guys think we should do the giveaway? I, I'm going to be fair well, to everybody. The comment thing don't work. Cause it uh, don't yeah, the comment them. thing don't appear to be working. Um, but our next giveaway is a Bass Pro drone. I give it away myself, but uh, it works pretty good. Be good for somebody to learn, and if they want to get what I've done is I got another drone. So this is my starter drone. <laughs> we got a starter drone. I went to a better drone, but this drone's fine. It's, it's pretty good for people that want to uh, learn how to use a drone. But it's a it's a uh, uh, camouflage Bass Pro drone. I got it from Bass Pro Shop. So pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, any ideas of how to do the giveaway? Who <laughs> made the cornbread? Go back through your comments and pick the thirtieth comment. Go down there, going to take it from me. <laughs> the 30th comment? Do you yeah, make cornbread, Amanda? No, I mean, it only cornbread? lets me go so far up. Oh, it's good cornbread. I don't cornbread. know if it let me see 30. I don't think it'd be better than a little milk, but I don't want to bother you. Bring Wait. them Saturday morning. No, pops. no. You're fine. I'll, get, I'll eat in a minute. I like the the phone call thing myself. All right, let's do it that way. Mm -hmm. You don't, don't want to do the phone call let's again? All right, let me, let me get it ready. Let's take the uh, 13th caller for a free Bass Pro Shops drone that can be picked up down here at the Farmhouse Diner. Let me see. 13th here. caller starting now. All right. The number is on the screen. 13th caller. Mm -hmm. 13th caller call 606-349-FARM. I'm paying attention to me because this is really Thirteen, good. <laughs> 13th, mm -hmm. 13th caller gets a free Bass Pro drone camouflage. Be sure to like and share this out, guys. We're going to do try to get, do a giveaway every episode every episode we're going to try to do a little giveaway and these people that are kind enough to donate things to be giving away up here uh, visit these people check them out for you local guys when you do them you yeah. guys that aren't local when you come in visit these people check them out because they are awesome people and we appreciate them so much you've got no idea how much we appreciate i can't wait to finish my food appreciate all our viewers <laughs> uh <clears throat> Big announcements possibly coming Big soon. Big announcement. Uh, I, I, I uh, blown my mind kind of announcement. But. We're not going to let it out of the bag yet. We're going <laughs> to, but it's coming soon. Could be something pretty big. Uh, we're going to keep on doing this as long as you wonderful people keep on watching it. Yeah, I'm glad you guys enjoy this. I'm going to try this weekend to try to get everything out on audio only. Like, we've got about five episodes now, so we can probably branch out to audio only podcast. If anybody wants to just listen to us. Only on audio. <laughs> but like I said, guys, you, there's YouTube, there's TikTok, there's all kinds of stuff. Of course, you can watch us live here on the Famous Farmhouse Diner page. What so, color are we on? Well, that'll make My you phones love, are ringing. That'll make you love your mother law right there. That stuff will. One more thing right quick. My friend Kendra Williams is still doing... Raising oh, yeah. money for the seniors that work for Adult McDonald's so they can go on our senior trip. Visit her page, Kendra <clears throat> Renee Williams. Kendra Renee Williams. Help yep. her out. Help her uh, Help her get this money raised for these seniors. Uh, <laughs> he's doing a great thing. It's, she's a manager down McDonald's, and they work for Visit our local basketball team, guys. They are on fire. They right are now. on fire. They're really good. They're, and it's a district. And for you local right, folks, district sure, they, right need, now. they need your support. Really, it would be good. Yeah. I think they're playing the night. It's probably why we ain't got a, a ton of more viewers. But I mean, we got 100. So we really, really appreciate you guys stopping by tonight. And it, it's been awesome. Absolutely what, amazing. What, we what love number it. are we on? Tenth caller, guys. You better be ringing that phone. Free drone. Ring I would show phone. it off to you, but it, <clears> it's kind of hard to reach from here. It's big. It, it's a nice little drone. I mean, it's a starter drone, so don't. It ain't the best, but it ain't the worst. It's a starter drone, so. As always, our man Big John with Tech Caller. None of this would be possible without him. Me no, and he's the man. We're grateful to him. He's yeah, this is producer. awesome. I hope you guys are enjoying the show. Kirk Daniel sounds like a plan, cause yeah, we need to get Stetson Allen on the podcast one of these days. Mm. Old Poncho. Mm. We usually have a live audience down here. We got a couple out sick tonight, and a couple. Still whining and dining their Valentines. <laughs> hey, Poncho, come I don't think over. we could have been Kurt anyway. Poncho, come over tomorrow night and help us with the music. Son. Yeah, Ponch, what are you doing? You're such a good mandolin player and all around pretty good guy, you know. Come on <laughs> over. Tomorrow night, tune in at 6.30 roughly. 6.30. Uh, for our live music, we just let anybody come in and pick that wants to. Uh, 
we've got our audio pretty much figured out, I think, now, so we'd be glad to have anybody. Is John still planning on a computer class? I haven't reached back out to the woman that does it, but uh, I would love to if they'll let me to be a part of it. We'll do it up here if we have to. <laughs> okay. Where but the, the McGough County Library, awesome. Awesome library. I don't know if you guys have ever checked out the library. It's beautiful. awesome. It's it beautiful is. inside. Like, it's big. You it's can awesome. even go there and eat lunch or stuff. And yeah, pretty it, it's outside. awesome, man. They've been uh, they've been a blessing to us. Like I got a little card gaming group. If you guys play Magic Together and Dungeons and Dragons Take or something food like that, and but, go out uh, the balcony and it's really they've nice been uh, they've allowed us to come there. Miles, uh, those are go, uh, David. Okay. David Tumor nice. Allen was our caller, and he has uh, given the drone to a child. So we give him a big round of applause. Way to go, That's Dave. Way to go, Dave. Dave. Also, David Toomer Howard is our uh, mandolin picker for our intro music, so we yeah, can't yes. thank him enough. If you guys like the intro music, it's played by David Toomer Howard. I'd check it out. He's got other music. I think they're even playing something. Am I, is that right? He's I don't know if a, he's here or not, but I, I thought I saw something on Facebook that they're having a, a band play. He's got a band, it. yeah. I'm not sure of his schedule, but he, he could tell us, you know, come on, Dave. Yeah, let he's us know. To, uh, he's going to put on, I think him and his uh, his band, are, when they do come by here, they're going to put on a show for us down here. So oh, they're going to come down to the farmhouse. That'd be something special. They're really mm-hmm. good. If you guys are going to be there a little while longer, and if you don't mind, I'll come down and hang out for a few minutes. Yeah, come on down, Marcus. I'll be here to unplug and stuff. So we'll be here for a minute. I'm going to finish this kilt lettuce, which is awesome. I, oh yeah, that, that's all. I can't believe how good that is. That's great, Dan. Uh, you see what you gotta, you've been missing out. I have. I've been missing out. Here, here, guys, is an example. You got to eat that with your fingers, though, because you can't. You know, you'll John, be left. You'll be left with just the bacon in there, <laughs> and you can't get it on the fork. John can teach <laughs> us stuff, and we can teach him stuff. A spoon. There you go. A spoon. I never thought about a spoon. What about <laughs> one of the one you of the, the other you, spoons with the fork? One of the on other you can shovel it in right your mouth. Here's Ideally, I'd utensil. have a big bowl of soup beans and pour it right over top of every bit of that. I didn't think you like soup beans. I said I got wore out on them. Uh, <laughs> okay. All I need is a little milk. I've got my utensil. <laughs> oh, Just about half a glass. Thank well, you. Well, guys, I guess it's about wrap-up time for tonight. Yeah, guys, it's uh, it's been a fun podcast. Be sure to look for us on YouTube if you missed the show. If you want to tell people where to find us. You can find us on the Farmhouse Diner page. We also have a group, Appalachia Connection. Also have a website, www.appalachiaconnection.com. YouTube, TikTok. We're, we're on there. All, we're all, we're, all the reels are on the Farmhouse Diner page. We got all the page. alphabet. We got it all. Yeah. Send us out. We're, we're syndicated. <laughs> all the way is what we say here. All the way. Take it all the way. If you guys have any topics you want us to cover, be sure to drop it in the Appalachia Connection group. That's the best way for us to see them all. And it don't get flooded by everything else on Facebook. And you get the last word. We will. Leave the light on the kitchen free. See y'all. Peace. God bless you. Love y'all.